Hello everybody and welcome to part 30 of my Witcher 3 Let's Play series where we pick up where we left the last episode. We have discovered that Dandelion and Siri got themselves into a wee bit of trouble and basically tried to commit a heist on someone called Siggy Reuven and have disappeared as a result of that Easy attempted heist. So I've come to the bathhouse in Novigrad you where apparently the four underworld the kingpins, Siggy Ruvin, all of us say Cleaver, I. the King of Beggars, and Horson Jr. tend to sort of hang Ruvin. out and um, talk through how they run Novigrad. Why the fuck and of course, I learned because that Siggy Reuven is actually him. none other than this Sigmund Dykstra, Good to see a you. character from Geralt's past who, loop. when who they the last encountered each other, things didn't end well for Dykstra. He basically got the full wrath of Geralt, who me. savagely Witcher, broke his leg. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Faltist's life and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. See, Dykstra but was I a former Redanian that. spy, and he was in leagues you, with Philippa Eilhart and the whatever they the lodger sorceresses. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins. No, just heightened senses. Being a witcher, part of my mutations. Bloody We've hell. got trouble. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? And if I was to be just a betting a man, the fact that there's only three of the so-called underworld kingpins here, I'm betting this intrusion is probably the work of the the fourth, the missing kingpin. With my prick hanging out. So yeah, Horson Jr. That was the man I was actually looking for specifically because he was the one that Dandelion and Siri had contact with. But he's not here, and his henchmen are. And unfortunately, I'm starting to realise that a bath towel doesn't give you a great deal of armour protection in a fight. Good work, Look at guys. that little dwarf. He looks funny. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why and how. They were horse son scum. That's the bottom of One thing I have noticed in this right game, there. the characters with tattoos again. really should Especially have not gone to see better guests. tattoo artists. Their tattoos look really, really they awful. Right like they've the been attack. done by a five year old. Why do I doubt it? Let's Especially give him a chance the king of beggars. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam, you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm and looking where's for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's a personal matter. Junior is going to help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver, perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. 
So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, wanna Geriatric. find Geriatric. My name's Geralt. I need to find Horson. Now looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got peasant smarts. Look at the time. Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Well, that's what he gets for staging the coup on the Isle I of Fanhead. reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanid. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. Yeah, whenever you catch a Witcher, just not in the like Geralt, your best bet is to bullshit. kill him. Don't tie him up, don't chain business. him up, because he always manages to listen. escape. Listen, if not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. Think Cleaver will find Horson? He might, he might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Okay. I think I've been doing that so far. I haven't been interrogating you and people with my sword. With Junior. My Why? investigation so far into Dandelion's disappearance has been very King friendly. Time and time again. War very peaceful. Solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Your partner's aware of your past? They know your Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect, but we just don't talk about it. No need to. Okay. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Okay, so three locations to search. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. So, enter the arena as a combat. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially, 
So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Okay, that seems a bit strange. That he wants to help me. Time I was on my way. Got things to do myself. So long. So there's three possible locations I've got to investigate to try and locate Horsell Jr. But what I'm tempted to do is go and have a word with the dwarf, Cleaver. Because he's looking for Horsell too. And what I don't want is him to find him and his men to find him before I've had a chance to speak to him and get the information I want out of Horsell. So Cleaver seems pretty intent on putting Horsell down for permanent sleep. So I need to kind of perhaps talk to Cleaver and get him to hang fire if I can, or ensure that if we are looking for Horsell, we do it together so that I can at least talk to him before Cleaver kills him. That would make the most sense. So again, lots of locations I've got to run off and um, investigate. There's never just one option with these quests now, is there? There's never just just go to just go to point B. Go from well, point A to point B, your problems solve. No, you have to go from point A to point B, then to point C, then to point D, then to point E, then to point F, and then back to point A again. This is going to take me hundreds of hours to finish this game at this rate. But I am loving it. A wee minute, Witcher. Now, I'm curious something mighty. How is it you were off the same bloody night Horson tried to kill me? Twas chance, honest. I was at the brothel. I've witnesses. I don't doubt you found some witnesses, but I do doubt the bit about chance. Know what? Shite conversation this. So much blethering, we've got nowhere. He's armed with a shillelagh. Is he going to break his kneecaps? Led, you have a chat with him. It's simple. I want to know where Orson is. I've not betrayed you. Not ever. Ooh. No. No. I know nothing. Jon Snow knows nothing. I'm betting he probably does know where Horson is. <laughs> Help me find Junior. I'm about to send my lads around Horson's hideouts. Won't say no to a witch's blade. Leave my men, take the water Junior and drag him out of his hidey hole. Win-win situation as I see it. Horson can't die. Horson can't die until I've talked to him. My lads are hot-headed and I like them like that. Want to rein them in, do so on your own. All right. Now, I suspect Junior's hiding at his casino in Gildorf. Either that or near the arena beneath the bits. My lads will be there. Find him. Okay. So they suspect he's going to be at either the arena or the casino. Which means my first port of call then to investigate will actually be his hideout. Okay. Let's go to the place that people aren't suspecting primarily as being the place he'll be. Bit of reverse psychology there, bit of reverse thinking. Maybe I'll get lucky and find him in his hideout. Makes sense. That's probably why it's called a hideout.
Eternal fire, why me? Arms for the poor. Move on. So Horson's hideouts in the posh district. to everyone, knock them out of the way. Although well, avoid the peasants with torches, they might set you on fire. There's loads of stuff to loot. I might have to do that on my way back. Look at all these glowing items. Oh, so much to loot. Being a witcher is a very expensive hobby. You need to fund yourself somehow. If that means stealing oh. everything that's lay, left laying around in the open, so be it. Okay, so where is Orson's hideout? Around here somewhere. Is it down there? Remember, we catch you engaging in black magic. You'll be interrogated and trapped. How do I get down there? Black magic, sir. I'm a simple lumberjack. Oh, then I don't know what you seek in this city. We've no need for loggers. Is it down there? Go over the wall. No, apparently not. Whoa. Don't touch me. Wow, this is the first time I'm struggling to read the map. Where am I going? I'm supposed to be right pretty close to it, but I can't see the house. Okay. What's the rush? So back here, somewhere around here. Is it that? No, locked. It's supposed to be right here, his hideout. <clears throat> What's your hair, lady? Oh. And if I hired a witcher in the alleyway. Geralt the Rev. The dwarves are a bit uh, of a I giveaway, aren't they? Here, witcher. The clicker's not here. Uh, I'd expect teeth to go up my ass before I'd expect to find horse and hiding in his house. Cleaver's said to be thorough, so we look everywhere. Not to burn the corpses, though. Else rats will congregate to feast. Was the dwarves who popped Snow White's cherry? Fuck, sure, blame that on us too. <laughs> I like dwarves. Dwarves are funny. Greetings. Ah, you're Reuven's mate, aren't you? Heard of you? Not really mates with Reuven or Dijkstra. You in charge here? What's it to you? Bloody mess. Just sort of happened. Came here, polite and all, to invite Horson Jr. to a get together with his mates. Became obvious right quick that none here acknowledged the ancient rite of hospitality. So, what did you learn from killing them? Looking for Jr. <laughs> Welcome to the Horson Hunters Club. Alas, we're fresh out of membership cards. And you're out of luck as far as Junior goes. Bugger's not here. Know where I can find him? No. Okay. I'm gonna take a look around. Got my eye on you. Nice razors you got there. That's quite impressive, seeing as you're looking out ah. of a, a gap only about half an inch wide. Because you've got your bandana pulled up almost to your eyebrows. All roads lead to my Dwarves were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Let's have a look up the stairs. Was the dwarves who popped Snow White's cherry? Fuck, sure, blame that on us too. 
you said that when I walked in. Stop repeating your lines. No one cares about Snow White and her Jerry. Nothing interesting here. Loot. Just a lot of dead people. What's that? Place has been scrubbed clean. Okay, so Orson's kind of left his hideout. He's abandoned it then if it's been scrubbed clean. He's left no traces. So that must mean he's in one of the other two locations. Lots of stuff to steal. There's a swing up there. Can I get it? Let's climb on there to get it. Loot. That's it. Okay, so... The first place on our list of searches has been a bit of a bust. No sign of Horson. No clues to his whereabouts. Never know when you're done for. But at least the dwarves didn't find him and kill him before I had a chance to talk to him. So wherever he is, he's still alive at this point in time. So I've got to hope I find him before Cleaver's men do. So I think my next destination should probably be, what, the casino? Perhaps he's hiding out there, because that's where he makes his most of his money. Nice razors you got there. And he could probably afford well, to be well guarded and protected here. there. All roads lead to Marakam. So yeah, let's go to the con casino, do some digging. They ought to never let your kind in, no regret proper. Pam 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 Move on. God, where's the casino? It's miles away. Another long trek for our hero. Drifter in from Tamaria. Set to go. Any time. More of Cleaver's men. Ready? Right -o. We go on your mark. Okay. Well, wait here wait then. Wait for it. Not too long, eh? You wait here because, again, I want to make sure if Orson's in there, I speak to him before you kill him. There's a merchant round here. I trusted a woman once, long ago. I was willing to give me right hand for her. <laughs> what happened? I don't got my fucking right hand no more. That's what. Well. 
sell him some stuff. Lighten my inventory a little bit. Greetings. What have you got to pawn? And how much do you need? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time. And you don't look nor smell flush with coin. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have forfeited. Been a loan shark long? Aye, since I was just a little tyke. So you helped your dad, took it over when he died? Nah, my own father left me here in pawn and never did redeem me. <laughs> Show me what you have in stock. One book. <laughs> Is that it? One book. Okay. Not a lot to offer me then, unfortunately. One book. I did sell him a few of them rubbish maces and swords that I picked up from the, the fight in the bathhouse with Horson Jr.'s henchmen. But, yeah. Not making my millions at this rate. This is no place for the likes of you. Why are you even here? Same reason anyone comes here. Play a bit, have a good time. Invite only, mate. Shit out of luck. No, I think you're gonna let me in. I think you ought to. I think you're about to let me in. By all means, please. And you, wish me luck. Luck be with you at the tables. Play one more time. Strange bird, you use that. that coin. May I? Why not? Mm. Hankering to play, but I'm only interested Let's in Let's play it stakes. calm. Let's not ask too many questions you. about horse or coin, right off not. the bat. We don't perhaps want to alert you suspicion. Behave, perhaps you cannot. Stay out of trouble. You'll eventually play for high stakes. For now, plenty of tables for commoners upstairs. Don't lose it all too quickly. Okay, so let's go talk to some of the commoners whilst we play Gwent then, I'm assuming. That way at least we get to earn the uh, the trust of the people before we start asking the uh, hard questions about where Horson Jr. is. Plus it gives me a chance to maybe earn some coin, maybe some new Gwent cards, which again is always a, a bonus. So let's start with this fella over here, shall we? lining up today. Mutant, what the hell's a witcher doing here? See any drowned dead or other shit sids around here? Nope, just here to play cards. Nope, no monsters. Great opportunity to play some cards. Clever man, eh? All right, we'll play, provided you've coin. I do. Fistech, they've got the best powder in the city right here. Just want to play. If Might as well make a few quid out of it. I believe I will plow your ass like a cheap horse. Well, unfortunately, you were wrong. You got badly defeated. I'll not play you anymore. You're bad luck. Go ruin someone else. Look on the bright side. Unlucky at cards, lucky in love. So that's one down. Let's go play another fella. There's two more up here, isn't there? Yeah. Whoa. Is that fella there? And, you you been ah. and then <laughs> I believe I ought to quit the table. The dude ever in the Time's corner. Coming. Okay. Cards being kind today. Matters little. I don't play plebs. Well, I'm not a pleb. I'm a knight. Actually, I was knighted. Ahem. <clears throat> Indeed. Not to pry, good sir, but who bestowed the accolade? Meave. Queen of Lyria and Rivia during the Second War. Skirmish broke out on a bridge. Happened to be there with friends. We drove the Nelf Guardians back. Then Queen Meave told me to kneel, recite an oath. The battle for the bridge. Oh yes, heard of that. <clears throat> Consider my objections withdrawn, sir. Good. Let's play Gwent then. <clears throat> and you got defeated Congratulations too. Congratulations on your victory. Thanks. Thank you.
Get in good hands. Luck of the draw today. You might make better use of that luck then. We have a room for specially selected upstairs. Really big stakes there. If that's really? the case, I accept the invitation. Come with me. Okay, well let's find out what's upstairs in the next episode of the series. I thank you for watching this video. Please remember to leave your likes and comments below. And I'll see you again next time.